Hi everybody, this is Zombie, and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. Many of you guys out there have some great ideas and suggestions for content, but I just don't get the time that I need to create it. So I've opened up the doors to my channel and invite you, my subscribers and supporters, to create your own videos which I'll host here. So if you have something that you wish to share with the community, get in touch with me via the LINE app. Add me using Zombie.33 and let's discuss how we can make it happen. Anyway, that's enough from me, on to the video. Hansis here for another Dungeon Boss video. Today we're going to be doing the Lab Academy Epic Run on Boss Island for pre-70s. So you don't have to be level 70, mid-60s is just fine. And today we're fortunate enough to be uh, a community contribution on Zombie's channel. So big shout out to Zombie and a big thanks for uh, all that hard work you do. So today uh, I'm going to show you a bit of the Shatter team. That's a team that uh, Zombie has a video for uh, Ignorok, Grognog, uh, Yorick, and Yasmin. Um, I'm going to show you that team pre-70. It's tough. Uh, it's more suited for an auto-run team at 70. Um, it is doable, absolutely, and with runes you can do some damage. But um, this run, Zombie also has a video for uh, an RPT team, the Rain, Pain, Train team with Darius. Indigo, Echo, and uh, MK. Um, it's not an auto run, but it makes things much easier and you don't need the runes or, or the attack power that you would for the Shatter team. Uh, so you can go through it a lot more quickly, um, which, you know, before 70, that's what you want to do. You want to level up those epics as quickly as possible. Now, if you're going to be bringing along a corpse to upgrade um, or grab that epic piece that's in the dungeon, I would recommend the Shatter team um, only because you're going to have a lot more survivability with uh, the three characters and a corpse on the Shatter team than you will with the RPT team. <coughs> Excuse me, the RPT team does not work without all four members and if one goes down you're in big trouble or you get out of sync you're in big trouble and we'll kind of go over that so anyways enjoy the video again shout out to zombie star scream and everybody else that makes dungeon boss videos uh your help and, and knowledge is uh goes without saying it's pretty amazing and we're we're pretty grateful for it here as a community and players also a shout out to uh, the hardcore group guilds uh, HC Alpha and HC Beta. Check out our website and our forums. Let's get to the game and uh, keep calm and vape on. And here we go, Lav Academy. So first I'm going to show you Zombies Shatter Team. Uh, and that's Ignorok and uh, Grognog. Yasmin and York. Now this is a great auto run team at level 70. Pre-level 70 it gets a little tougher um, unless you're absolutely ruined to, to the nines which this team is not. Um, now this is a very uh, epic dependent run. Um, for this team I have epics on Ignorok, Yasmin and York. Ignorant's epic is AoE damage, uh, Yorick's epic is a self heal and a little bit more damage. And Yasmin's epic is very important because it's a heal and it debuffs that burn. Um, on this run, I think it went off like once or twice, even though it's level, it's only level 4, Ignorant's level 5, York level 9. Um, it's RNG, right? If the epic doesn't go off, it's going to be tough but what I want you to pay attention to and, and again if this is level 70 and these guys had runes on them even pre 70 if they had runes on them Grognok would be absolutely destroying these red characters there's an epic attack from Yorick which just heals himself of course uh, that epic only is a team heal on the ed on dead team but do you see how long that took to clear the first room? I'll just do the first two rooms and I'll give you an idea of how long this would take compared to the RPT team. 
rain, pain, rain. And sorry, I have the hiccups. And they just haven't gone away in a few hours, so. Oh, the crit, the crit. Love crits. Grognog, isn't that great that he hits twice? I love that. So, I think we're gonna go ahead here and speed this up. Um, uh, number one rule for me is I never ever like to retreat from a dungeon. I don't know why, it's a pet peeve of mine. So, we'll speed this up just. And as we're watching, you can kind of get an idea of um, how long each round is taken. And, and or how, how long each room's taken and, and the time for each um, round. Uh, you can see this is a mid-level boss here. And uh, I took it off auto run. Took it off auto run to make it easier and quicker. Um, on the level 70 auto run that the zombie uses for his video, which works. Um, I don't think he takes it off auto run for the bosses, but you can see how, you know, again, it, it works and you can run it and you'll have success with it. It's just very tough to, you know, you're not going to sit here and do 10 runs like this. Uh, I think you'd start losing your, your mind here. So, and again, uh, like I said, I think Yasmin critted twice throughout this whole dungeon mm -hmm. and then other times she'll quit she'll crit once or twice a room there's one right there <clears throat> and now we're at the boss okay now I know this seems like a lot of extra work um, in this video or it makes this video too long because I'm showing you this run but it's really important you understand the differences between team and team synergy and your abilities at your level so great team we just showed here at level 70 pre 70 it just becomes tougher and takes longer so let's like look at an alternative that again zombie does have a video for it's called the rpt or the rain pain train team and uh, this team is based around a synergy and a rhythm and the rhythm is energy crits and damage so we don't start with cobalt we start with indigo Indigo provides crits, which provides energy, low attack, so she doesn't kill the room. Now you can use a, any fast hero. We prefer MK because that is what Zombie uses. Echo for energy and Darius to clean up. So during this first room, the rhythm you want to go here is Indigo does Chilling Barrage. It's an AoE that crits but doesn't kill the room. That gives energy for Echo to energize, which gives energy for Darius to use any of her abilities every room. Now Indigo doesn't start with Chilling Barrage, so you can rapid fire something. I recommend a demon every single time. If you don't kill the demon right away, they're gonna have a free attack. That's why we bring an, uh, a fast hero like MK. MK here, he's using his uh, Blossom. You can use your Blossom as long as you're not too jacked up because the first room you cannot kill. If you kill the first room before Echo gets a shot, uh, turn to go, you have to restart the dungeon. So Echo used Energize for energy. He's going to use that every round. And then Darius used her Reign of Sorrow to finish the room. So now the room's set up. And here we go. Chilling Barrage should be up every time. And you're going to see crits, which is energy. MK, he's going to use vibrating palm. So as he uh, doesn't use a physical attack, so he doesn't get burned, he's going after that demon. You always want to get rid of that demon first. Echo energizes for energy. Darius should have all her attacks and uses vampiric arrow barrage. You can use the Reign of Sorrow. Uh, I prefer the um, vampiric arrow barrage because... Um, it's quicker and it self heals, but that's uh, completely up to you. And rinse and repeat by raining palm. 
energize from echo every single round except the final boss even the final boss i'd energize darius vampiric arrow barrage everything's dead see how quick this is now for whatever reason if rng happens and something doesn't happen as planned uh, like two demons um, use one of your energy pots and make sure that indigo has chilling barrage that's key so this is the midway mini boss you can use death blossom here um, because you're not going to kill that the big boss there and that keeps everything the same echo energizes Darius is probably going to use debilitating shot here yes and that should one shot the boss and that's done and then we're going to carry on our, our merry way chilling barrage for crits crits gives us energy which feeds echo which feeds darius it's kind of that's where that train part comes right crits but remember indigo she has to have high crit low attack because you don't want to kill the room off or you're not going to utilize echo's energy or darius and you're going to come to a room and darius is going to be useless right now in this room see how there's two demons that's an rng sucky thing it's okay though, you just don't want that happening very often. My Darius is fairly, she's fairly ruined. She can take a hit. Indigo, not so much. Echo, not so much. Chilling Barrage. And again, two, two demons here, which you don't almost rarely see that in this, uh, in this dungeon. Our RNG can be sometimes you got lucky and sometimes you're not right, but that's okay indigo took the hit and uh, We got the energize off Darius finishes it off now remember there's no healing on this team except Darius uh, And she only self heals so any damage you take you're probably gonna take with you. So chilling barrage Vibrating palm no demon this time. So we'll pick any of the opponents Echo's going to energize. Darius will finish off the, ro the room here. And I think the, the really neat thing about this team is once you see how the characters are set up. This is level 66, not crazy runes. You don't need to be a jacked up whale of a player to do this kind of damage. Now this is the boss. Remember how long the boss took when we were doing the um, shatter team? Check this out, Death Blossom. Okay, the room's almost clear and we haven't even got to Echo yet. Echo is going to uh, do a storm instead of Energize, which is uh, not something I'd recommend doing unless you're very comfortable with this team for this reason. Um, Darius didn't have um, her barrage. In this case it's okay because uh, Darius was able to take the hit all right what a good run now just compare the timing right we did this run in real time more quickly than the shatter team pre 70 compressed again shatter team is not a bad team it's just slow if you don't have runes and you don't have the levels to back it up so let's take a look at these uh, heroes and you'll notice that it's really they're not super crazy heroes so let's look at indigo she's five out of six stars fully ascended 38 62 not big by any man see her attack is really low anything uh, under 2500 is good but her crit 50 percent we got a greater rune greater bulwark improved power greater and greater precision so it basically it's all crit not crazy runes but it's really all crit so 50 percent crit very low attack for indigo that's really important she can't kill off that first room or any room when she uses chilling barrage okay mk he's pretty jack he's got an epic but not crazy uh 50 crit 25 percent dodge is great and uh, his attack isn't bad his crit's at level seven and his ruins uh you got a greater precision improved precision improved battle improved tactics and improved precision so really a few great and the rest are uh, improved. Pretty common runes here. Okay, now we'll go to Echo. 
Echo is even worse. Again, five out of six stars. Um, not even fully ascended. Should probably do that one day. Uh, very low attack, very low defense. Very, you know, nothing special. I think the runes I put put on them were just uh, what I had laying down, a lesser planning ruin. Uh, really, you just want to put health and defense on him just to make sure he stays alive in case a demon takes a pot shot at him. He's just there for energy. Darius, uh, again, five out of six stars, fully ascended. Her attack is fairly impressive. Pretty squishy on defense. Uh, great crit, though. Here's her ruins. Improved power, improved power, improved power improved crit and attack no greater runes and she absolutely destroyed it so hey thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you zombie that's all for now guys please do leave comments questions or suggestions in the comment section below i'll always try to answer remember to check out the rest of my youtube channel for more dungeon boss videos or search zombie dungeon boss in google or youtube for more don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.